Hello, it's great to be with you, and our venue for this match is the Swansea.com Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone, and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the Championship. It's Swansea City, and they face Stoke City. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, let's dissect the Swansea City lineup. Well, when you see it like that, their central midfield players look a little bit isolated. But I'm expecting the two fullbacks to push up to make it more of a 3-4-3. And I think we see a lot of positional rotation in this starting 11. And here's how Stokes line up. Well, in this shape, unless their wing backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. Thank you, Liberty Stadium. Enjoy the game. And this confrontation is underway. And Cham. Well, he's given us away. Can he take advantage? The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Well, they fancy a short one. Firing it towards goal and keeping it out. Well, smuggled behind for another now. They favoured a short one here. Baker. Precise ball movement. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Short corner favoured. Jagielka. Losing possession. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, very effective play in possession. Using his physical strength to shield it. Thompson. Lewis Baker. Will Smallbone. I must say this looks promising, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Grimes. And Cham has the ball. Jay Fulton 
Liam Cullen. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Liam Cullen. Now looking dangerous here. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. And that puts them in position. Crossing into the middle. Needs to clear it away. An attack full of promise. Determined defending. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing. Liam Cullen Fulton now using all his defensive acumen to cut it out well as you can see it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment Thompson I oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Liam Cullen. And successfully cut out. Now can they make something happen? Jacob Brown. chance and it goes well the pressure has been mounting and now they have the lead well here's the goal again and it's a great ball to put him through good vision to set up the chance and the finish is just as good that's an excellent goal And back underway, 1-0 it is. And with that, the first half draws to a close. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good and he got better as the half wore on. So back underway here into the second half. Well, possibilities inside the box. Behind in the game, but now they have a corner. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. Now, how about the short corner? And Cham? Oh, surely! Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now.
Will Smallbone. Not showing good vision. Crossing possibilities. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Back underway. Jamie Patterson. Fulton now. Number 20. Liam Ryan Manning. Coming onto the pitch. Number 12, Jamie Patterson. Getting in there to intercept. Stoke City. Coming off the pitch. Number 10. Tyrese Campbell. Coming onto the pitch. Number 11. Being pressed and pressed high. Grimes. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Gale. Gale. Could play it in. Excellent assessment. Chance for Dwight Gale. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. They've regained possession. This might be ideal for the counter. Gale. Can they keep it going? Tremendous ball played through. Well, it was so easy on the eye, that counter-attack, but no reward for them. Yeah, it was all good until the final effort. It just shows how devastating they can be on the break, though. Jay Fulton. Grimes. And Cham has the ball. Difficult to stop him. Grimes. Oh, it might be. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Number seven, Joe Allen. Substitution for Stoke City. Coming off the pitch. Number 18, Will Smallbone. Playing it short. Coming onto the pitch. Number seven, Sam Clucas. Cutting in. What can he do from this position? Jordan Thompson Tyman and now back with the keeper well approaching full time and this is wearing the look of Mission Impossible for the home side Stuart 
Well, where do I start? They've been totally outplayed in all areas of the pitch, but it's their defending that's really been poor today. No structure, too open, not enough desire and a lack of urgency. This is a worrying performance. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Brown. Has a go. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. Favouring the short one. Baker. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he should be happy with his goal and the win, but he'd be slightly annoyed that he hasn't scored a couple more. Overall, though, I thought he was excellent.